Hey guys, Ernie here, and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. It is MRE time again, and today we're checking out menu number eight. It's meatballs in marinara sauce. Like all of our MRE videos, after we try it, we're gonna give it a rating. So stay tuned, and let's check out menu number eight. Thanks for watching. All right, so here it is, menu number eight, meatballs in marinara sauce. Once again, made by the AmeriQual Company in Evansville, Indiana. Production code is the 177th day of 2018. Let's see if we can get in with this peelable seal. We've been on a roll here, guys. Been on a massive roll with this peelable seal. I think we're gonna get it again. Oh yeah, how about that? Boom. Yeah! Let's open this up. All right, right off the bat, we've got our main meatballs in marinara sauce, along with our little cardboard. We have a second pouch. This is garlic mashed potatoes. Excellent. All right, we've got chocolate chip cookie, TFF. I don't know what that means. Probably something along the lines of fortification. I don't know. We've got some cheddar cheese jalapeno spread. That's really good stuff right there. If you've uh, watched prior videos, you know that that's a big favorite around here. Italian breadsticks. Excellent, new item. Beverage powder orange. All right, we've had that before and it's quite good. Beef stick, that's all it says, it is beef stick. So there we go. We have our spoon, we'll put right here. Got our beverage bag and our FRH, we'll put that on the side. We'll take a look at our accessory packet here. We've got toilet paper, moist towelette, non-dairy creamer, coffee instant type two, freeze dried, Splenda, which is helpful, gum, and iodized salt. We're gonna use this salt for something a little different today, show you guys in a little bit. Let's start getting our stuff heating in the FRH and then we'll get everything out onto a tray. Now I've had a hard time getting this FRH business to work well. So we're gonna do something a little different. I've read a lot of different stuff, a lot of suggestions. One of them is adding salt. Apparently salt is one of the main things that activates this FRH. The other thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this koozie to heat this bad boy up. I want these to get hot. So we're going to put the salt water in here and then we're gonna put one meal on one side, one meal on the other side, and we're gonna put it inside of our koozie, not even inside of this bag. That will also help these from getting all wet. So I think this is gonna work well. We're gonna open this up. People say about half of a packet of salt. So let's do that. Add our water. I don't know, people say it gets so hot within seconds. Now I am feeling it to, you know, oh, there we go. Now we're going, whoa, super hot over there. That's encouraging. All right, so one on one side, one on the other side. I hear my water boiling, so let's make our coffee here. Add our creamer and our coffee here, freeze dry. If you've watched these videos, you know I'm not the biggest fan, but the Splenda helps, so we're gonna add about half a pack of Splenda. We've got our water, let's add that. That's right, it's six ounces. We'll stir that up and we've got ourselves some coffee. Now for our orange beverage-based powder. Basically tang, if you had tang as a kid, that's what it tastes like. It's about 20 ounces. By this time, I know exactly about how much that is in this cup, because I use this cup every time. Let's give that a stir. Okay, so like usual, we've got our two drinks. We've got our coffee and our orange beverage base. Let's get all of our food out onto the tray while the uh, mains get heating. Okay, several things. We'll start with this beef stick. It just says beef stick. Let's see if it's one stick or multiple. Ooh, it's double wrapped. There we go. Hmm, smells very teriyaki-ish. Y'all know we tell the truth around here. Doesn't smell too good. All right, chocolate chip cookie. That's kind of exciting. The oatmeal cookie we had before was quite good. So maybe this one will be as good uh, as that was. One piece. Smells very good, smells like a, basically like a huge Chips Ahoy. This is Italian breadsticks. So let's open these up, should be interesting as well. Okay, there you go. Kind of looks exactly like the uh, whole grain snack bread. They just have little indentations to make it seem like they're actually breadsticks. Give it a smell here. Yeah, they got a little herbiness to them, but we are going to christen them with this uh, jalapeno cheddar cheese spread. I think I'm gonna put some right in the middle of each one. In fact, you know what? We're gonna split this just in half. It's four of them. We'll split it in half there and put some cheddar cheese spread with jalapeno on each one. 
All right, so let's check and see how our new heating method worked. If it worked, maybe next time I will detail it a little bit. Let's see. There's one. Definitely warmer than my last few efforts. Oh yeah, much better. Oh yeah, see these are the mashed potatoes and they're all warm. And the meatballs, although not as warm as the mashed potatoes, still much warmer. Like I said, nice and warm. Let's give them the sniff test. They smell whoa garlicky, like super garlicky. Almost look more like grits. Like I said, man, they smell really garlicky. Almost too garlicky, we'll see. And our meatballs should be on the side here as well. Tell you one thing, these pouches do open easily, which is nice. You can pretty much imagine exactly what these are gonna taste like. Okay, so let's get going. We'll start with our coffee. It's cooled off a little bit, but it still looks very, you know, just fine. I'll tell you the Splenda makes it so much better. It's less bitter, still not great, but better. Basically, if the kit comes with a Splenda, uh, it's gonna make it uh, a better experience. The orange tang, basically, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's good. Just like usual, man, the, um, the drinks tend to really be the best part. A little scared of this uh, teriyaki beef stick. Um, like I said, it smells super strong um, and really doesn't smell very appetizing, so. So let's take a bite here. Yeah, that's not my favorite. That is not my favorite at all. It is uh, really mushy tasting, not, not a lot of uh, substance. You can see I can just smush it and it just kind of, it's really mushy. Um, doesn't actually have a lot of flavor. It's got a little smokiness to it, but I don't get a lot of teriyaki, so not, not liking that very much. We're gonna try one of these breadsticks with the jalapeno cheese spread. Should be pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Breadsticks themselves have like some herbiness to them. You throw the cheese and the jalapenos. Really, really good. That's surprisingly good. All right, we'll try one of the, a little bit of this mashed potatoes. Now, smelling this, I mean, it smells like artificial garlic, like strong, so let's see. Yeah, it's, it's almost off-putting how strong the garlic flavor is. It's just like knock you over strong. Um, the potatoes themselves are okay. The consistency's fine. Really, if they would just add like a little butter flavor or, or a little salt, it would have been better. It's kind of like if you made garlic mashed potatoes and you tried too hard to make them garlicky. Woo! Holy moly. All right, let's try a couple of meatballs here. And that's kind of exactly what you would expect. It tastes exactly like meatballs out of a Chef Boyardee. Kind of that really processed meat flavor. Uh, the sauce is good, it's not over processed tasting. And the meat itself actually doesn't taste processed, you just know it is. It's actually not bad at all. Yeah, that's totally doable. Let's throw a little bit of mashed potatoes in with a couple of meatballs. I imagine it's gonna tame down those mashed potatoes pretty good. Yeah, that's the way to go. Uh, if you're gonna eat those mashed potatoes, they're so garlicky. Uh, I would probably just mix all this together and it would, you know, the sauce and the acid from the tomato sauce will kind of balance out some of that garlic. So I'm gonna eat a little bit more of this. Gotta wash it down, right? All right, last, we're gonna try this uh, cookie out. Like I said, it smells like a giant Chips Ahoy. You know, Chips Ahoy, they, they just have a specific smell. I imagine that's probably what it tastes like. Yeah, it's good. Very crisp, very crunchy. A lot of shortening, really high shortening base. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, if you like Chips Ahoy, and you've ever wanted or dreamt of a giant Chips Ahoy, that's exactly what this is. I'm gonna finish up a little bit of this, and let's talk about it and give it a rating. Okay, so menu number eight, meatballs and marinara sauce. Not too bad. Let's give it our rating. As you know, if you've watched any of our other videos, we have a rating scale from one to 10. One is food that I would hesitate to feed to any of my dogs. Five is food that's tolerable, but not necessarily enjoyable. A 10 is food that I would eat any day of the week, wouldn't hesitate it because it's that good. We'll go ahead and rate every component of the meal and then give the whole meal an overall rating. As always, we'll start with the drinks. Thankfully, this time with the coffee, we had Splenda. That Splenda helps quite a bit tone down the bitterness of the coffee. Uh, in the past, I've given the coffee a five. With the Splenda, we're gonna give it a six, a little bit better. The orange beverage base basically tastes like tang. It's been a seven on all of our other videos. No reason to change it now, it's a seven. Teriyaki beef stick. It's a road bump. It's, it's an issue with this particular meal. It's a big issue. Smells off pudding. Texture is not good. Flavor tastes just like liquid smoke. Yeah, it's not good. It's not even a five, in my opinion. I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't finish it. Um, I mean, I'd feed it to my dogs. They'd love it. It'll probably get the lowest I've ever given. It's a three. Teriyaki beef stick's not good. Flavor, texture, not good. Thankfully, the rest of the meal wasn't too bad. 
We'll start with the uh, Italian breadsticks. On their own, they're quite good. They have some herbiness going through them. Really taste pretty good on their own. You add the jalapeno cheese spread, excellent. The bread, I'll give a seven. The jalapeno cheese bread, I'll give a seven. But often you combine things and you put those two things together and I'm gonna give it an eight. The garlic mashed potatoes are another major problem with this particular meal. They are obnoxiously garlicky. It just tastes like garlic oil was just infused in these potatoes and it is strong. Honestly, too strong to eat on its own. They're bordering on tolerable, so I'm gonna give them a five, but they're really not that good. They could be a four. Thankfully, the meatballs aren't bad. Now, of course, they taste processed. That's the way you expect them to taste. And the meat is kind of an odd, you know, texture, as you would expect with meatballs like this. But we're gonna give them a solid seven. They really don't taste bad. They're right in the middle between okay and really good. A seven is where it's at. Pretty decent meal and it does add calories and that's what you're looking for out in the field so you can combine and eat those potatoes. You don't want to throw them away. You want to eat them. Just mix them with as much tomato sauce and meatballs as you can. You'll be okay. And the shining star of this particular meal, I think, is the cookie. The chocolate chip cookie is excellent. I'm going to give it a nine. It is a large Chips Ahoy cookie. Really tastes good. And when you have to battle through the beef stick and those potatoes, man, it's nice at the end of this meal to have a nice dessert. Really nice, crisp, chocolatey chocolate chip cookie. Give it in a nine, very, very good. So where does this leave this meal? Drinks are tolerable. Main dish is quite good. Dessert's very good. You've got the cheese spread with the bread, very good. The other two things kind of leaves them out to dry. So we're gonna give it a seven. So menu number eight, meatballs and marinara sauce gets a seven. Hope you guys continue to enjoy the MRE taste testing series here on the channel. This is number eight. We're on a quest to go all the way through the current 24 meals. So we are one third of the way through. I'll leave a link down below to the playlist in case you want to check out the rest of my MRE videos. And as I finish the whole series, all 24 will be located there. I even have some plans to do some international MREs or maybe some cold weather MREs down the road. This will be kind of a continuing series down the road here on the channel. But we're starting with the current 24 menus and going from there. If you like this video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube and that's how our channels grow. Also, if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, do two things. Hit the subscribe button. Usually I'll show up on your feed if you do that, but I don't always show up on your feed because of the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. So if you want to be absolutely sure you never miss a video, hit that ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the channel. It's hot here in Louisiana, but I have an air conditioned shop, which makes these videos much more enjoyable. As always, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos. <laughs>